Hey everyone, Nick here from Firefly with the second half of our Stronghold Next Q&A extravaganza. Now before we continue with the barrage of probing questions about our upcoming castle sim, if you haven't seen the first half, make sure you click the link in the description below before continuing. If there's anything we managed to miss out in these two Q&A videos, make sure you leave a question in the comments below and we might have enough material for a part three. But for now, let's get started. Your old friend says map editor question uh, mark. Yes, we'll be releasing a full map editor this time around with all the same tools that we use to create maps so you can get to making your custom scenarios um, for yourself or for your friends. Uh, we're gonna be including extra large maps in this. So you can create you know, that grand epic battlefield that you've always wanted to make um, and releasing the sort of the tools to create and share those as early as possible so you can get ahead of the curve and show everyone your amazing castle. Jurassic Dave asks, when will the trailer become available? Um, honestly, when I'm happy with it. Uh, we want the reveal to give you a clear idea of how the game will actually play at launch, um, rather than just simply like posting a logo online or like a CG trailer that doesn't really tell you anything about the game. We want you know a, a, the reveal of a new Stronghold game to be a really big event, um, especially with the new mechanic, like we want to be able to show you that in action um, and kind of communicate that from day one. Um, yeah, and really make it a big event. Nexodus1337 says, skirmish and multiplayer. So does that mean no single player campaign? Don't worry Nexus, um, we are planning a number of single player campaigns in addition to skirmish mode and online multiplayer. So we can't really reveal too much about them at this stage, but you can rest assured that we'll have you know, plenty of single player content um, following our sort of you know boisterous Lord characters uh, through their historical campaigns. So we've got lots of users asking whether there will be a CV, a retail box, a collector's edition. Um, so the short answer is, can't confirm anything just yet, but we're trying to make it happen. So uh, we know with a series like Stronghold, you know, people want a box that they can add to their collection. They want any cool extras that come with the, the retail version. And, you know, some people just want to have something in their hands on launch day. So yeah, trying to make this happen and uh, stay tuned for more on that front. I'm not entirely sure what this means, but Anonymous3 simply asks one, two, or three. Two, it's a good number, solid, solid number. So Forevermore asks, will they be doing any Kickstarter or crowdfunding activity for Stronger Next? Interesting question. We don't actually have a crowdfunding campaign planned for Stronger Next for a few reasons. Uh, firstly, we're not, we're just not at a stage where we need sort of an extra cash injection really early on. Most studios use that as their reason for doing crowdfunding. Secondly, a properly executed crowdfunding campaign requires resources and sort of manpower that we'd rather just dedicate to, you know, making the game and updating you guys on it. Um, finally, you know, it's our intention to develop and release the game regardless of any sort of crowdfunding, so we feel like it would kind of be dishonest to ask people for pledges at this stage. It doesn't mean we won't do some extras, you know, whether it's wishlisting or a special edition or a pre-purchase, you know, we might do something cool on that front. And it doesn't mean we wouldn't consider Kickstarter, Indiegogo or Fig in the future, it's just that it's not right for Strong Next at this specific time. Our summer says, no gong pit? Pfft, that was the main reason I played this game in the first place. Yeah, sorry, unfortunately no gong, uh, but if that's your bag, let me point you in the direction of other games like Conker's Bad Fur Day, Muddy Heights, and of course, who can forget the Septic Avenger mission from Saints Row 2. Not me, I have nightmares about that shit. Justice asks, can we expect ranking system in multiplayer? So well, we've got a whole list of features on the sort of like stretch goal side, including leaderboards for the game. Uh, we will be doing a detailed stats and ranking uh, report on a per game basis. So you'll be able to see when you started panic buying swords, um, when your economy kind of collapsed, when you started buying lots of wood, when you started like producing a certain resource. So you'll be able to see the rankings and the stat reports sort of for each player in each match, you know, and whether it went really well for you at one point or really badly. A bit like in Crusader 2, you'll be able to have like a ranking system to see who was the greatest lord, but also, you know, when people's economies did different things and, you know, because we're building on that side of the game for Strong Next. The Lucas asks, will Stronghold Next have a beta trial for free? Um, so a beta is something we would love to do for Stronghold Next for a whole host of reasons. Um, can't really promise anything at this early stage, but if we were to do it, it would likely take the form of a multiplayer beta. Um, it would probably have a lot of the same sort of units and features you can expect in the final game, uh, but it'd be a great way for us to test our multiplayer servers and just the gameplay itself if there's any tweaks we need to do before launch. Um, so yeah, can't really promise anything at the moment, but if you sign up to our newsletter, um, that's fireflywells.com forward slash sign up. Um, we usually recruit beta players uh, through email. Aftab Khan asks, so what is the actual title? I'm very excited. That would be Stronghold. <laughs> Every says Linux question mark. 
Um, so whether or not we or another studio make a Mac or a Linux version of the game is really down to how well the game does at launch. It's certainly not planned for launch. Um, and in the future it might become easier for us to do for a variety of reasons, but it's a, at this point it's a major consideration for a relatively small team such as ours. Um, yeah, so stay tuned around launch and um, we'll make an announcement around that front. Cybers on Soldier X10 asks, any update on Stronghold Next? I thought we already got a look at it with Stronghold Drawbridge. Frightened? You, uh, you might want to check the upload date on that Drawbridge trailer, Cyberzon, because it was in April. It was at the start of April. Yep. April Fools! Kutzko asks, remastering the old Strong Crusader, could that work? Absolutely, yep. In the, sort of the age of the awesome Definitive Edition, Steam Edition, HD Remix, you know, that's something we could absolutely do further down the line and we know there's demand for it. Um, but with Stronghold Next, we're focused on a completely new setting, new mechanic, new units. Um, but yeah, we can come back to it further down the line. Jin Phoenix asks, is Stronghold coming home? Uh, yes, I would say it is. One of our top priorities with the next game, in addition to polish, is bring back as many classic Stronghold features as possible. We've gone through a lot of user reviews to kind of tap into the Stronghold DNA. So in terms of little touches, visual flourishes, units, um, smaller features, we want to bring as much sort of classic Stronghold feel as possible uh, within this new setting. And football will come home, eventually. Ikasnu says, I remember falling in love with Crusader and Legends. So I'm curious, will classic units have new voice lines? Um, so, hard to answer this without giving too much away. Uh, all units in the game will have new voice lines. So, uh, this includes troop types we're bringing back from previous games. Um, the classic lines of voices mean as much as they do to you as they do to us. You know, all the Brummies, the Geordies from the earlier titles. And we could do that in future games, but for this new setting, we're doing all new voice lines. Watching Trains Go By says, how about an offline mode? I don't know if that's something you've done in the past, but I think it should be standard in games today. Absolutely agreed. So we're going to have, you know, a few historical single player campaigns. Those will offer a series of challenging missions. We're going to have skirmish mode. You can go against AI or your friends or a mix of both. Um, and the new uh, gameplay mechanic will actually increase the longevity of skirmish mode. And I can't say any more or Aaron will kill me. Arshad Ali asks, does your latest installment have long range siege weapons and the ability for auto targeting turrets? Um, so throughout the series, we've chosen to have things like trebuchets do manual targeting uh, because you don't really want them auto targeting horse archers and things that they would never hit. Um, you know, trebuchets are great for taking down castle walls, but unless we're talking about a certain fantasy epic film, they're not that great at taking out individual troops. The argument for castle turrets is way, way stronger, of course. So you've got, you know, it's usually on a case-by-case -case basis, log traps and stronghold two, you trigger on your own. Other things like braziers and bastillers that are uh, sort of controlled by units, and um, they make more sense for you to auto-target. So it'll be a mix of both. Regassi says, can we get screenshots from Stronghold Next gameplay? Yes, you can, after the gameplay reveal. Uh, we're fully aware that players want to see artwork and screenshots in the game and we probably could at this point show you like logo screenshots and you know a few other things but it feels like after all these years you know we want to make it more of an event and um, you deserve actual gameplay because you're worth it. James Connolly 1916 says it's the Napoleon era isn't it? No it's not James you're wrong. The British think they are so tough. Pasimi asks will there be weapon and armor upgrades in the next stronghold? Um, so we will be allowing you to upgrade something in Stronghold Next, but that's a spoiler so I can't tell you or I'd have to kill you. Um, what I can say is that we'll be upgrading things that uh, are a strategic choice that affect the ebb and flow of a battle um, and it will play into the game's new central mechanic. It won't simply be upgrading troops for extra armor and attack power. Ibadori asks, how much wood will be needed for this release, my lord? How much you got? Wait, that sounded pretty creepy. Can we edit that out? Another question from Basimi asking, will there be realistic animations in the next Stronghold? Um, absolutely, as a new title in the series, you can expect completely new animations up to the standards of sort of modern PC gaming. Um, everything from peasants to livestock to your soldiers will move realistically to, you know, to make you feel like you're living in, ah, uh, ah, uh, nearly spoiled it, but I didn't. Gentic OG says, are you guys going to add the old crime mechanics from Stronghold 2 into the upcoming Stronghold? Would love to see it. Yeah, so while Stronghold 2 crime mechanics are, you know, very close to my heart. They don't particularly make sense for the new setting, but rest assured we are going to be adding lots of new sort of additions to the sim gameplay and bringing back sim elements from previous titles in the series. Again, read into that however you want. 
Nathaniel Young says, do you visit castles for inspiration? And if so, what castles have you visited? We do, I went to Corfe Castle recently, not for this game. If I told you what castles are relevant to this game, I'd have to kill you, uh, because then you know where the game is set. Uh, so maybe ask me again after the gameplay reveal. Tom F asks, does the next stronghold have battle AI? It will indeed. When you're playing skirmish mode in sort of offline, online, you have the ability to battle against AI. You know, whether that means chilling out offline against one of the game's easier lords or going online against friends or taking on like seven AI on your own. Um, it's totally up to you. Uh, but yeah, you'll be able to take on the AI in the game. So that concludes our Stronghold Next two-parter Q&A. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you have any other questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you want to know more about the game, make sure you check out the Stronghold Next playlist here on YouTube, which is steadily growing with Q&As, listicles, and interviews. As always, if you like the video, make sure you give us a like and subscribe here on YouTube for more Stronghold Next news.